The first people who set about to systematically investigate what the world is made of were the alchemists. They flourished in the late Middle Ages, working in secret, protecting their knowledge with codes and ciphers. An alchemist was really a person who I think was striving to transform the world, transform nature. The theories they had that underlay all of their observations were fundamentally flawed, and so this led them into, into strange and unexpected directions. The alchemists' ideas about matter and its various forms were derived from the ancient Greeks. It was a system of beguiling simplicity. Everything in the world was a combination of just four idealized substances. Earth, water, air, and fire. But crucially, alchemists were also skilled practical men. Dr. Andrea Seller will attempt to recreate a bizarre experiment performed by one of the last alchemists, a German named Hennig Brand. Brand was trying to create the legendary Philosopher's Stone, a substance with the power to transform metals. The idea of transforming them in some way, allowing them to grow, allowing them to, to move towards perfection, is a really fundamental idea in alchemy. With the Philosopher's Stone, Brand believed he could transform base metals into gold, the most perfect and precious metal of all. He began his experiment with a rather unlikely starting material, human urine. Alchemists thought that urine contained special properties because it was produced by a living being. Brand started by reducing it into a paste. Well, here it is. We've been boiling it down for some time, and it really is quite smelly. And you can see that it's starting to get a bit pasty. There's all sorts of white saws in there. So there we are. I'm just going to run it down this glass rod. And it would then have been transferred into a furnace, the trial by fire, if you will. And it must have been quite a furnace, uh, very, very hot indeed in order to drive this. It involved great technical skill, making the furnace an apparatus, controlling temperatures of over 1,000 degrees Celsius. As the experiment went on, what Brand saw was utterly startling. He had transformed the urine into a substance that had never been seen before. When it cooled, the material turned into a pale, waxy solid. But even more amazing is what happens when it burns. There really is power in this material. Brand, of course, never found the Philosopher's Stone. But the substance he had discovered was named Giver of Light, or Phosphorus. It became rather important. It was used to make the match. 
I think the alchemists made, made huge contributions to what we now know as chemistry. I mean, they were really sort of struggling to understand the world. And what they did was they found methods to actually isolate pure chemical material. They started to assemble ideas about how the world worked.